Resultant force, vector applications. Two students pull a box on two separate ropes. One pull with a force of 150 newtons, the other with a force of 90 newtons. The angle between the ropes is 50 degrees. Determine the magnitude and direction of resultant force and equilibrium force. Okay, let's try to make a sketch and then answer the question. So let us say that the students are pulling them. We have, let's, let's try to. So one is pulling with a force of 150. Let's say this one is a force of 150. Let me make a straight line. And the other one is pulling it with a force of 90 newtons. And the angle between the ropes is 50 degrees. So we'll make approximately 50 degrees. 90 is lesser than 150. So we'll make a bit more than half and say this is my 90 newtons, right? So we say this is force 2 of 90 newtons and this is force 1 of 150 newtons and the angle between the two is 50 degrees, correct? Now what is the resultant? To get the resultant, what we need to do is to draw a parallelogram. That will give us the resultant, the sum of these two, right? So we'll draw from here line parallel to 90 newtons, that force. So it goes like kind of like this and we can draw another one parallel to 150 newton force and they meet at one point. So that point gives us the resultant force from the tail to tail origin of the two, right? So if I join these two, I get my resultant force. That is the resultant force, right? So let me say that this is my original point O and here is student A pulling at 150 newtons and this is my point B and that is R. So OR represents the net effect of these two forces. Resultant force is the net effect of all the forces acting at a point. Do you see that? So this is my box. Got it? Now let's read the problem and see that whether this diagram represents the situation or not. Two students pull a box on two separate ropes. So these are two separate ropes. One pull with a force of 150 newtons. The other with a force of 90 newtons. The angle between the rope is 50 degrees. Determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force and equilibrium force. Resultant force is the net effect of these two and the equilibrium will be equal and opposite to your resultant force. Correct? So we get both the answers. So let's find this force OR, right? To find OR, we need to know what this angle is. Now in a parallelogram, both these angles make 180. So this has to be 180 minus 50, which is 130 degrees. Correct? That's one way of doing it. The other way is, this line is parallel to this line. Correct? And this is extension of the same line. Angle between them is 50. Correct? So that angle should be 180 minus 50. Either way, you get the same answer. Right? I'm showing you both the ways because some students find it convenient one way. Now in this triangle, the triangle OAR, so we have considered the triangle OAR. We know two sides. One is 150 OA and AR is 90 newtons, right? Parallel forces with same magnitude, equal. And that is OR which we need to find. We can find it using cosine law. So whenever you have two sides in triangle known with included angle, you can always use cosine law, right? So we will use cosine law in this case. And find what OR is, correct? That is what we are going to do. So we say magnitude of OR, which is the resultant, is equal to square root of square of these two, 150 square plus 90 square minus 2 times 
150 times 90 times cos of angle between them which is 130 degrees and everything square root we get our answer so let's use your calculator and figure out the answer so we have square root within bracket 150 square plus 90 square minus 2 times 150 times 90 times cos of 130 bracket close equal to we get 218.98 so we can write this as 218.98 which is equals to 219 do you see that and the units will be newtons so we get that now we know the resultant force magnitude what is its direction so we can find the direction of this force with reference to one of the forces let's say let's find it with the force a which is 150 newtons and let the angle be theta now we know all the sides we know this is 219 we know theta we need to find and side opposite if we know a set of point and I mean if we know length of one side and angle opposite then we can always use sine law right so now we will use sine law to find angle theta so we get it sine theta equals to we'll write first the ratio so sine theta over opposite side which is 90 is equal to sine of 130 over 219 for accurate results you should write 218.98 right and from here we said theta equals to sine inverse within bracket 90 over 219 sine of 130 degrees and I use your calculator again and say second function sine within brackets 90 divided by 219 times sine 130 equals to we get 18.349 so we'll write here 18 point so we get theta equals to 18.349 right so that's our angle theta which resultant makes with OA right so that is what our answer is so we have resultant force of we'll write 18 degrees okay we'll round it to the whole numbers so we have resultant force is equal to the magnitude which we calculated 219 newtons and the direction is 18 degrees from 150 newton force okay that is one and how are you going to give the equilibrium force equilibrium force is equal and opposite to resultant force so we say equilibrium force is equal to magnitude is going to be same which is 219 newtons but the direction is going to be opposite so what we will do is and um, let me extend this here in the opposite direction right so let's say this is my equilibrium force right so I'm calling it E okay so equilibrium force I'm calling it E so what is this angle this angle will be 180 minus theta right so we'll do 180 minus 18 degrees 180 minus 18 will give us 162 degrees correct so that is the equilibrium force so we'll add an angle of 162 degrees from 150 Newton force right so that becomes the equilibrium force right opposite direction do you understand so that is how we have to write our answer I hope you understand that resultant force is the net effect of all the forces acting in this case we have two forces acting on it and therefore the net effect was found as a parallelogram representing their addition we got that to 219 newtons and the angle
we can find with either 90 newtons or with 150 it is your choice we preferred with 150 newtons and got our answer as 18.349 which i approximated to 18 degrees now equilibrium force is a force which will keep the object at the same spot not moving and that is only possible if i apply equal and opposite force as shown in the diagram so if we have a force of 219 acting in one direction then the force of 219 acting right opposite to it will give us the equilibrium force and that's how we got our answer so we subtracted the angle theta from 180 to get our angle so that makes it opposite angle right so we get an equilibrium equilibrium force and the resultant force i hope you understand the concept and the way we should be solving such problems thanks and all the best